everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Yaya Han. I am beyond excited for today's video because it is a bona fide dream project. Capcom has hired me to be Chun Li for the Street Fighter VI game launch. When I say dream project, as a Chinese woman who has already been cosplaying Chun Li for over 10 years, it gets no better than this. I mean, I grew up with her and I always play Chun Li in every Street Fighter game because I saw myself in her. I am so grateful to Capcom. And on this note, let's hear a word from our amazing sponsor. Street Fighter VI is available now on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. The newest installment of the legendary fighting game lets you play as 18 of your favorite characters, such as my girl Chen Li. It also includes new expansions such as World Tour and Battle Hub, and boasts groundbreaking features that turn the genre on its head. Join the fight by clicking the link in the captions and get your copy of Street Fighter VI today. All right, now that you're all hyped about the game, let's dive into my journey of becoming the real life Chun-Li. Let's go. I had exactly 10 days to make the Chun-Li costume between my travel schedule, so I prepped all the materials ahead of time and dove right into making her blue leggings. My blue ultra preem was perfect for the pants. Next, I patterned a mock-up for the dress and used it to cut out the white fabric and sew the main seams. Chen Li has a contrasting blue swoop on the front and back of the dress, which I patterned, cut from matching ultra preem, and sewed onto the dress. At this point, I faced the biggest challenge of this costume. The blue and gold designs all over the dress. I was super grateful for the graphic design help from Keith Allison of Caesar America, who vectorized Chen Li's decorative designs for me. I used a Caesar Romeo cutter to cut all the designs on Easy Wheat HTV. This cutter let me directly cut from a roll without a mat, so I was able to cut large vinyl pieces in just minutes. The weeding process where you peel away the unwanted vinyl was so satisfying. Then came time to place the vinyl, which I did carefully in sections, like the back and front panels here. I used a heat press to transfer the vinyl onto the dress, which gave me better adhesion than using an iron. With a protective cover sheet over the fabric, I pressed each section for 15 seconds. Slowly and systematically, all the blue designs were permanently adhered to the dress this way. At this point, I installed a white invisible zipper to the center back seam, which took like three tries to line up. But it did line up. Now, I could zip up the dress, try it on, and adhere the tricky vinyl designs around her shoulder. Chun-Li also has lining that is gold with gold swirly designs. So, I used a dark gold dupioni for the dress lining and cut out multiple golden swirl designs on the Caesar Romeo with a metal gold vinyl. Again, so satisfying to weed the vinyl. And the heat press gave me solid adherence on the dupioni. With the lining in, it's starting to look like a costume. To sew in the lining, I set up the dress on my dress form and clipped the inner layer to the outer layer. This allowed me to double check that the front and back flaps laid flat. Then I simply stitched around the hem since a gold trim will hide the stitch anyway. To make the gold decorations all over her dress, I used my trusty fabric covered foam technique. Spray adhesive works really well for the teeny swirly bits. All the gold decorations are glued onto the costume, starting with the shoes. Next, I tackled the trickier gold trims on the dress, which I glued on with contact cement. Be sure to work in a well-ventilated area whenever you use contact cement. I left excess fabric on the outer edge of the trim so that I could wrap it around and encase the hemlines in gold. To make the inside look extra clean, I glued on a gold bias tape. The sleeves have gold trim on the inner and outer edges as well, which I also glued on. The last part I worked on for the dress was the center cutout and collar decorations, which required a lot of hand stitching. With the dress finished, I turned my attention to the wig. I started with a dark brown chibi wig from Arda Wigs, which has a center back part and pigtails. 
I retied the pigtails higher, then placed a foam hair bun over a pigtail. Using a comb and a steamer, I fanned out the hair around the bun. This next part took a few tries, but I slipped a hair tie around to shape the odango. I repeated the process with a second bun and set the hair with lots of hairspray. Some way time later, I tied the bun securely with thread and carefully trimmed away the excess hair. Lastly, I pinned some strands around the buns to hide any stumps. Then came time to cut the bangs, which I kept a bit longer to frame my face and be more flattering on me. I think it's perfectly fine to diverge from accuracy to make a costume more comfortable or flattering, since you as a human have to wear it. In Street Fighter VI, Chun-Li's wrist cuffs are much more streamlined and I knew early on that they should be 3D printed. I enlisted the talents of Noelle from the Darda sisters to 3D model and print the cuffs for me. She did an amazing job and even sanded and primed the pieces for me. Once I had the cuffs in hand, I asked my husband Brian to paint them while I toiled away on the costume. He sprayed the cuffs black and let them set for 48 hours. Then he hand painted the gold bits in several thin layers. We sealed the cuffs with a clear pearlescent top coat. Then I made little squishy fabric tubes for my wrists that velcroed onto the cuffs. This way, I could easily slip on the cuffs and they stayed floating in place. Chun Li is ready to fight! To celebrate the release of Street Fighter VI, Capcom threw a huge launch party and they invited me to come to it as Chun Li! I couldn't make this costume without doing a proper photo shoot and cosplay showcase. So we ventured to an amazing location to capture some awesome Chun-Li footage. Enjoy! Thank you all so much for joining me for this extra special video today. I hope you enjoyed following along my journey of becoming Chun-Li for Street Fighter VI. 
Thank you so much Capcom for trusting me with this beloved character. I hope I did Chun-Li justice. I mean, I tried hard guys. And y'all go get your copy of Street Fighter 6 and have a blast with the game. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more cosplay and fandom content. Let me know in the comments which Street Fighter character you're most excited to play in the new Street Fighter 6. And I'll see you in the next video.